programmatic SEO for SaaS. What is it? Why is it important? And how can you use programmatic to scale a large page set and drive customer acquisition? In this video, I have a great example of a company that's using a programmatic approach to basically fuel their entire organic acquisition strategy. So let's take a closer look. So if you're not already familiar with programmatic SEO, basically what programmatic SEO is, is taking a template and taking a seed phrase and scaling a large page set with that, right? So you have a singular design and generally starting with a singular seed phrase or seed keyword, and then you're creating five, 10, 15, 50, 100,000 pages systematically, systematically, programmatically in order to scale and rank for all of those terms. Right. So the example I have here is a company called Rocket Reach. And if you're not familiar with Rocket Reach, what they essentially do is they are a prospecting tool for B2B where you create an account, right? You can go into a database, you can search by different criteria, similar to like LinkedIn Sales Navigator or other tools out there to find the contact information for doing cold outreach, for building audiences, lookalike audiences, et cetera, et cetera. Right. So very, very powerful stuff in the terms of prospecting. Um, but what's interesting about Rocket Reach is that their entire organic acquisition model relies on programmatic SEO. So let's take a quick look at the stats here for Rocket Reach. They're doing roughly close to a million per month in organic visitors, which is, which is pretty crazy. It's a large amount, right? Um, they're ranking for roughly 4.5 million keywords and Again, how they've done this is they are essentially targeting a few different seed keywords, right? For example, when somebody is going to Google and they're searching for a name and phone number, right? So for example, Justin Burke phone number or Justin Burke email address. And they're also targeting for queries where somebody's going and searching for the email format for a given business, right? So somebody is going and typing Trello email format. So what that person is trying to understand is what is the email format structure so that they can then know when they have somebody's name, how they can then basically fill in the gaps to, to send the email, right? Um, so this strategy and structure that they've created, if you go to Google as an example here, I typed in Justin Burke email address, you'll see Rocket Reach, really they, they've done this for essentially, I think everybody on LinkedIn, um, they've created a page. And if you go to this page, let me open this one up. And if you go to this page, you'll see here it has information, right? About this is this is my own profile. So my location, my work information, education skills. So all this data for sure here, this is actually scraped from LinkedIn, right? Uh, but again, what they're doing here is they're targeting the seed, key, uh, seed phrase of Justin Burke email, Justin Burke phone number. So when somebody goes to Google, this page ranks for those queries and they've created literally I think they have close to 6 million pages in, in Google, right? Um, I'm just going to open it up here and look. Yeah. So if you take a look, you do the site query, you'll see almost 6 million results. So they use this page when somebody lands on this page. And again, the intent is they're trying to find the email of somebody. They're trying to find the phone number. They're trying to find the, the, the email format. And they have other ways they do this as well, right? Now I can click to see view Justin's email and phone. It's free. So they're taking you directly into the application, right? I just continue with Google or Facebook email. I sign up for free, five free lookups per month. And then I'm directly signed up in Rocket Reach, right? And then I can retrieve that information, which is super, super, super powerful. So again, they basically built this entire customer acquisition strategy via Google by creating this single template, this single page Right. And again, there's the same design, right? I'm sure they used a kind of a, um, you know, a content brief or content outline on how to structure this page. They have parameters, they've scraped all that data, and then they've just filled in the rest. And you'll see below, they also have additional information. Other people named Justin Berg in case it's the wrong person, um, how it works and some, some trust down here at the bottom. Right. So this is very, 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 very powerful. Um, and again, allows them to do over based on, on what I think is typically Ahrefs and SEM Russia, the numbers are not really right. They're doing probably over 1 million organic users per month. And looking at the data, I think probably 80, 85, 90% of that is specifically from those queries where somebody has a direct 
search for a phone number or for email, and they're going directly then into Rocket Reach to get that information into a sign up. So how can you implement this for your business, right? And the, the interesting thing about this is probably half, if not more of the SaaS companies I work with, I think there are very creative ways and angles that you can use to create a programmatic strategy yourself, right? Um, or, you know, for companies that are, you know, even kind of in the pre-launch phase or very, very early, you can use this to validate an idea and already start to get organic traffic and signups before you even have a product, right? So it's very, very powerful. Um, and really there are three simple steps, right? First, you figure out well, what are the, the, the set of seed keywords we want to tackle. You can do some research around this in tools like Ahrefs or SEMrush. Just to get a rough idea, again, those tools are not really reliable for like volume around how many searches per month, um, but start to think, you know, what is a good seed phrase that we can potentially use that customers are searching for that are related directly to a product that we can build programmatic pages for at, you know, 500, 1,000 or, or even more. Then you're basically going, you're building a template for your page, right? So you have kind of the, the on-page instructions and how you want to structure it, where you're filling in the parameters, how you're doing internal linking, kind of the strategy behind all that. And then you have a singular design template for that page. Or if you have multiple page types, you can have a few different design templates. And then really you're just taking that once you have the information, right? And you're ensuring that you have a great URL structure, you know, you're doing the basics when it comes to on-page SEO, right? So again, they have in the title, they're targeting this, this I'd probably change around a bit. Um, but what I like is that they have, you know, in the meta description, they have it stored out, but they have the user can verify this is the right company. Like I'm seeing this in the results and I'm seeing like, okay, there's the, uh, the, the business email address of the person I want, right. Or I know they're located in this area code and I see the start of the phone number, right. So it gets me to click. Um, and this also helps to target, you know, they're using first name, email address in the title and also in the description. So they really structured this in a way, you know, they put some thought into it in terms of how to actually get it to rank, right? Then, you know, they're taking this page set and they're releasing it for crawling and indexing. Um, and then they're tracking, or at least I would track keyword position to start in the first few weeks as a leading indicator. So, you know, taking all those seed uh, phrases, putting them in the HRS, SEMrush or other tracking tools and seeing, okay, are we starting to level up in terms of positions, right? Um, now, depending on your domain authority and, and current crawl budget, right, there might be a consideration of, okay, like we don't have a ton of domain authority and we don't have a ton of crawl budget. So, you know, um, maybe starting out with like 200 or 500 of these pages to test and to slowly drip them into the results is a smarter idea versus, oh, we're, we're getting crawled all the time. We have a you know ton of crawl budget. Uh, we could do this more aggressively, right? So that's one consideration for this, but very, very powerful strategy. And again, I think that this can benefit a lot of different businesses in the SaaS space where there's opportunity just by thinking and getting creative of what these page types could be. And then allowing yourself to go build the template, do the research, and then leveraging programmatic to drive mid to high intent traffic, right, directly to the site and directly into a sign up. So that's the recap on programmatic SEO. Hope it helps. And uh, yeah, appreciate you watching.